If you have a scanned or a photographed document, you can actually convert them into searchable and editable text by using Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. So in order to do that, I'm going to open up a scanned document. So since I have the file as a JPG format, I'm going to go into file, go to create, and I'm going to say PDF from file. So let me just select that. And over here, I have an image of a bill. So I'm going to press open. So it loads up the bill over here on my screen, as you can see. This is an image and right now I cannot do ed any sort of editing over here. So let us enhance this picture uh, so that I can actually edit the picture, edit the text. So in order to uh, make this editable or searchable, I can go over here onto the left side and here you have an option called enhance scans. You can also optionally go to tools if you do not find this here or you have removed it previously. So you can go over here. I usually like to keep this right over here. So I'm just going to click on enhance scan right here. And once I click on that, you can see that I have an option to enhance this. I'm going to say enhance a scan document. So I get uh, similar options right here. You can recognize the text in this file or multiple files. So I'm, I can go for multiple file as well. So I'm just going to click in this file. And over here, you can see that I can select the base. Right now, I only have one, so it does not matter. And in the language, you can see that I can choose from various dictionaries. I'm just going to select English US as my default. So I can also go to settings right here. And here you can see that I can select the number of pages. I can select the language and here I can choose output. So I can set, no, I can output to searchable image to searchable image exact and editable text and image right here. So let's see the difference between them. So I'm going to keep mine at searchable image for this one press OK and click on recognize text. Let's see what happens. It actually aligned everything out. The document looks exactly the same as you can see. So it is still pixelated. But what you can do is you can actually select the text and you can set it as well. So if I were to press Control F and press Canon, press Enter, it actually highlights Canon. What the software is doing is that it aligned everything for me and then it actually added an invisible layer of text on front of the PDF um, in front of the image. So I can actually set and select the text just like that. This is wonderful and it maintains the original look of the image as well. Let us try again and see other option right here. So I'm going to go to home again. I'm going to create PDF from file. I'm going to select image again so that it actually creates another one. So let us try the other option. I'm going to go to um, in unscan select the image, let me just zoom out a bit. And I'm going to go into enhance, scan document right here, recognize text in this file. And over here in the settings, I'm going to choose the second one right now. So over here is searchable image text. So searchable image exact will keep the orientation as it is, um, which is actually quite similar to this. And I'm going to click on recognize text. And you can see that the text has been recognized. So if I were to zoom in, so if I were to actually zoom in, so you can see that everything is still pixelated and the orientation is maintained. And if you are to select it, it actually selects it like this. So now let us try the third option, file create, PDF from file. Let me click on this document right here. And the third option is to actually create something else. So let me just go over, uh, over to enhance scans. And I'm going to go to enhance, scan document, recognize text in this file. And in the setting, I'm going to go to the editable text and images. So this actually makes it edit editable. And I can even reduce the quality that is down sampling into a lower DPI. So if you want, don't need much quality, you can actually do that. But I'm going to leave it to 600 DPI itself. So I'm going to go to OK and it'll convert the text. I'm going to click recognize text right here. And you can see that everything is changed. But over here, something else happened right here. So if I were to uh, zoom this in, you can see that it actually converted the text into its own font. So you don't have a pixelation right here. It's rather a vector graphic. So if you were to go over here and zoom in, you can see that everything is pixelated. I can still select it. But here, it actually converted the text right here. So let's see the advantage of this. So let me just zoom out. And over here, what I can do is I can edit this text right here. So I can actually go over here, right click. I can actually go to edit text. 
And if I want to change this thing, for example, 006 to 007, that actually allows me. And what this is actually doing is it is it has created a font out of the uh, letters which is already available in this document, just like this. So you can see that 007 is taken from this 7 right here. It's quite similar. It has created this own font. So if I want to add in some text right there, I can just add it in. So how cool is that? Keep your receipt. Keep your... Let me just try type in another letter. And there you go. So F is nowhere to be found over here in the document. So you cannot actually uh, replicate that. It only replicates the one which is actually in the document. So I'm going to say, keep your bill. B, B is not there. Right, there you go, receipt. So you can see that I can also edit this out. I can add it in BLK, just like that. And I can edit everything out just like that. And I can add in numbers right there. So everything is editable. What happens when you edit it here though? So let me just try, right click, there's edit text. It actually converts everything back into this format right here. So I can go over here and edit this out. So if I were to edit this, you can see that everything gets converted into the editable text format just like here. I can go over here. Same thing over here as well. You want to change this out, you go to edit text. It actually converts the document again and you can convert everything out just like that. So that is how you can convert uh, the MS file into editable and searchable text by using Adobe Acrobat Pro. So hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe